Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about opening files from inside of ProjectWise and applications that might not necessarily be in directly integrated. So we're going to be using a managed uh, export workflow and uh, so I'm going to be opening some files inside Global Mapper that doesn't necessarily have a direct connection into ProjectWise. So I want to open these shape files. So I have a group of files that I want to, to export out and use inside that application. Um, so my shape file and then all of the subsequent files that are needed uh, with that shape file for projection purposes and things like that. So the first thing I want to note is that I do have uh, read-write access to these files. They're not checked out by anyone and um, uh, I have full control over these. So I have the, the little pencil there. Another way I can check is I can hit the space bar, which is our keyboard shortcut to get to our properties, and I can see that that status is checked in. Um, so it's, it's available for me to check out and use in any uh, way that I need to see fit. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to highlight all of these, I'm going to right click on export, and there's two options inside our document export wizard. The first one is going to be our managed export, which is going to lock the file once we export it out. So it's going to keep that document integrity intact uh, so nobody else can open it inside ProjectWise and make changes while I have it uh, outside of the application doing my own changes to it. The other one is just send to folders. So this is going to create an unmanaged local copy wherever we browse to and send it to. So it's still live inside of ProjectWise so somebody could check it out, make changes, and then we're kind of out of sync uh, with the copy that's outside of the real world or outside of ProjectWise. So in this case, uh, we're going to recommend using a managed export. Uh, if I'm going to make changes, and I don't want anybody else to make changes to these documents uh, at the same time. So I'm going to select our export and I'm going to browse to a folder that I use for all of my project-wise exports. So I just made a little folder on my desktop just because it's really easy to get to called uh, PW Exports. And then I can also put in some comments. So these comments will be read directly into the audit trail um, so we can see why I would exported this out, what kind of changes I need to make. Um, so I can uh, use previous comments, so I don't have to type in these comments every single time that I do something similar. Um, so I'm going to say, oh, I'm, I'm exporting this to, to Global Mapper, and it's going to export all of these out. Now one thing to note is once it's finished, uh, that the icon changes for me inside of ProjectWise Explorer. So now instead of seeing that pencil, we're seeing that saved floppy disk uh, icon here. Um, everybody else uh, that would open this location and look at it would see a padlock um, to show that these files are locked for editing. But they're still open read only, so a user can still go in and open read only um, or uh, just double click on the file when it has that padlock and it'll still keep that file locked. So now I can go to my folder location where I have those files just to show that they're there. And if I go to my desktop, my project-wise exports, I have my shape file there. And I can open it and browse to it um, just like I normally would. Uh, Global Mapper has the click and drag option. So if I go to my um, fit view here, we can see that my shape file's in here for my boundary of a project. Um, so once I'm finished working on this, let's say I, I've made some changes and I've saved it, or maybe I haven't made any changes, uh, I can go into ProjectWise and I can select these and import them back in. So first I want to take a look at that audit trail just to kind of show what's happening. So I've done this a couple times, but my export, uh, it'll show what computer that goes out to and the path of where that folder is. Um, any of the comments that I add in are also there and available. And uh, it's one thing to note is that it remembers where it exports that file out to. So if I go and import these files back in, it's going to look to that location. I'm going to say, oh, no changes made. And it's going to find those. So it's going to go to that ProjectWise exports folder that I had and, and import those back into ProjectWise. And now they're editable by everyone. Now let's say that I want to, uh, I need to move them around or do something different. Uh, so we'll go ahead and export these back out. And I can go to my folder. Uh, on my so my project-wise exports and let's say I want to 
put these in a different folder. So I'm going to put these in not project-wise exports just for demonstration purposes. So now I move them out of there. So project-wise, when it goes to check these back in or import them back in, it's going to look at that location and say, oh, these aren't found. Uh, do you wish to import from another location? So I can browse and open these in another in another location if I if I need to. So not project-wise exports. Those are where those actually are. And we'll go ahead and keep uh, importing those back in. So we can browse to another location and bring those back in and uh, still uh, import those changes back into project wise another thing to note is when it does uh, export out of project wise it will uh, only grab the files that you exported um, when you're importing them back in um, so let me go back to another example of exporting these back out to my folder so we'll export these out to project wise exports So my files are here uh, that I just exported. I can go ahead and click finish. Now, if I add other files to this location, um, let's say I need, I want this one in here as well. Now, when I go to import these files back in, it's only going to grab the files that I had checked out. So if I go to import and import these files back in, it's going to go out to that location, find them, bring them back in. And if I look at that folder, it actually removes them from that temporary holding location, but it's not going to bring in any extra files that I generate. So if I needed to bring this in, I would just click and drag, uh, open no wizard, um, and then it would also be added into my uh, project-wise uh, data source. Thanks for watching.